Libras, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, because obviously it's not happened yet, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading, what's happening for the beautiful Libras this week. how you feel about yourself this week or how you feel about your life or who you the character that you play in your world with the eight of swords here this is the energy of feeling trapped feeling like you've got nowhere to go feeling stuck that you aren't trapped so it's like sometimes it can be seen as the victimization card basically it's the simplest way to put it with the two of pentacles it's almost like you keep putting yourself in check this week it's almost like something happens and then you're oh Oh yeah, I don't, that's, I'm being silly, this, this is nothing, I've been through worse. Like, there's some little thing that happens and you're like, well, why am I actually upset about this? This is nothing. It could be the silliest thing, it could be you're uh, at a shop buying something and, I don't know, the cashier doesn't speak to you and they speak to you harshly or rudely or they're mean to you. And then you, you go, oh my god, I'm having such a terrible day now, oh my god, oh my god why what did I do wrong and then you kind of go oh actually do you know what and you keep putting yourself in check and you go do you know what that was more to do with them that had nothing to do with me everything to do with them and then I don't know you get put on by a bird and you go ah everything's going wrong and then you go actually do you know what I got put on by a bird that's a good excuse to go and get changed and wear a new outfit and look even better like there's something where you go actually that's not a big deal it's nothing I why am I upset about it um it's very like, it's going to be different levels obviously for everyone watching, but I like it because you're self-aware, you're aware that you're not actually, it's like that thing of, is it, is, a ba is it a bad day, I can't talk, is it a bad day or is it a bad 10 minutes? And I feel like that's something that's going to happen this week, is you constantly going, actually, that's not that bad, there's, much, there's lots of good things happening. cups reversed there you go you're switching up your energy five of cups pessimistic glass half empty but you got it come out reversed so you're seeing the glass half full you're seeing all the good things that are happening i don't know that energy just changed up to what i was talking about very quickly nine of swords you could also be this could be about you feeling afraid so you're feeling stuck in some type of fear stuck in some type of um worrying about the worst case scenario and then you go oh actually why am I afraid? I'm powerful, I'm brave, I'm courageous. And this thing that I'm worried about isn't even that scary. And it's like you kind of snap out of it. You snap yourself, you put yourself in check. Knight of Swords. Ten of Swords. Um, also, there's kind of an ending of that too. So some of you are kind of very like fiercely independent of putting yourself in check. With the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, you're not going to be doing that anymore. You're going to have um, either a best friend, soulmate, there's someone new that you're going to be attached to the hip with. The weird thing is because Ten of Swords is an ending and I feel like you keeping yourself in check is ending. You're going to have some type of, and it could be, it could be an animal, which is a weird thing to say, but you could have, for some of you have like a big dog coming into your life. I'm seeing that specifically, it could even be a horse. Very weird, but it's like, it's going to be very healing for you. Oh, or a horse, funny, that's probably why I said that. Maybe I saw that subconsciously, but um, for some of you, you're going to have someone or something that bounces out your uh, fears, your overthinking, your stress. It's just going to bring you, it's like you're ending this thing of doing things alone or holding yourself accountable. There's going to be some type of soulmate, whether it be an animal or human. They're just meant to be in your life coming in for you. What else is going on? Libra four of swords healing like I feel like this is going to be very healing this companionship whatever it is king of cups someone very emotionally balanced six of wands four of wands king of wands could have two potential people could be you being the king of wands them being the king of cups 
men or women doesn't matter it's just the energy of someone being very confident sure of themselves outgoing courageous the other person is a little bit more introverted and calm and um they like their solitude a little bit more they like to just it's kind of like someone that likes to read and play video games or something whereas this person likes to um entertain people they like to be the center of attention and this person's happy just giving them the attention um so it's kind of a good match really but six six of wands this person could also be somebody here is in the spotlight somebody here's well known could be you could be them with the four of wands like you could meet this person at a party you could be i don't know if you already know this person you know exactly what i'm on about then there is some type of party or celebration that's going to happen and um reciprocated energy between the both of you very much however you're feeling about them they're feeling about you which is nice what's happening in your career you're expecting you're expecting to be this is a weird thing to say but in your career you're expecting to be the little man or the little woman you're expecting to have to prove yourself in some way so maybe you're starting something new maybe you're going down a new track but there's something where you're expecting to be seen as naive. Um, this is going to change very quickly. It's like dark horse energy. You've got the death card come out. So rebirth, phoenix rising from the ashes, dark horse. People aren't expecting and you're not even expecting something of yourself. And then you're just going to kind of prove yourself wrong and go, oh God. Is it, that's the feeling you might overwhelm yourself because you're going to set a very high standard for yourself in your career, in your job, whatever it is. It's like... If anything, Tara's advice, and it's like, I don't know, I was going to say don't go too hard, don't try to prove yourself, because it's like you're going to create a very high standard that you can't continue to produce, but I think you can, I think you actually could continue to produce this high standard of work, whatever it is you're doing, if you believe in yourself. Nine of Cups, there you go. Nine of Cups, success, emotional contentment, like feeling on top Ace of Swords, some of you are like speech makers, um, I'm just getting that really strongly come through, so yeah, whoa, like Ace of Swords with the Nine of Cups, you know, with the King of Swords, you have like a silver tongue, is that what it's called? You know what to say, you, also it's the way you speak, it's how confidently you speak, and it's like the things you say, you are in alignment. Now, does this look like a speech maker to you? So you've got King of Swords, which is the preferred energy. And then look at him, though. He looks like he's got speech. Like he's got his scroll. He's got his sword. It's about communication. Pages are messengers. So this is about speaking, even if your voice shakes, even if you're nervous. And then you'll very quickly become the King of Swords, who people listen to, who people respect, even if you don't feel like it yet. Eight of Wands, communication. A lot of you have something to say and you need to say it. It could be write it down. Um, I don't know, film a video, say what you need to say, let it out. Um, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles. You're also going to notice a big change coming. Like, um, some, a lot of you are moving. A lot of you are relocating with that Ten of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Because Four of Pentacles is holding onto your stuff very tightly, being very stubborn. Ten of Wands is carrying a lot with you. And I feel like a lot of you are going to have a lot that you don't want to let go of when you move. And you're going to be packing, like, silly things that you don't really need, but you just have attached yourself to. So the advice here is if you don't love it, if it does not feed your soul, let it go. Like the, you could be carrying a lot more than you need into the next chapter. It could also be emotionally, but there's no emotions here. A lot of you, this is just you carrying things that you've always had. So you always want to keep them, <laughs> but you don't actually like anymore, or they could even have negative, negative energy attached to them now. Um, and it's just like, don't keep something just because you've always kept it. Um, that could also be, again, about energy, but I don't feel like that for all of you. It could just be a way of thinking. It could be some type of habit that you have that you're like, well, I've always done it, so I'm going to carry on. And it's not serving you. You're carrying it with you into a new cycle that you don't need to carry it. And you will let go of it with the Ten of Wands. That hamster is eventually going to drop those because it's too heavy for him. So it's like, you might as well just start off without, with as little as possible, and then instead of having to drop it all and carry on again. Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Queen of Pentacles is all about having a lot of stuff. Um, getting like hoarder energy right now. So I don't know who that is, no disrespect, but 
you might have a lot more stuff than you need or that makes you happy or it could have negative energy attached to it. It could be things that people have given you that aren't in your life anymore that remind you of them, that make you sad whenever you look at them. It could just be, it could be like, you know what I'm trying to say, like exes and things like that. It's just, you could have things around you that you don't realise are making you sad just by seeing them. Uh, Nine of Wands, your wounded warrior, you're protecting a lot of things that you aren't actually... Like, why are you doing that? I don't know. It's it's strange. So the advice, let go of what doesn't bring you joy and keep what does. I'm not saying get rid of all your stuff, but just figure out what it is that has positive energy attached to it and make room for new. I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Total Terror Tuesdays.